in this discussion you can see how to use mapped function and uh, what is the purpose of this method and in case you missed previous discussion about how to use filtered function please check link is given in description so I'm going to an editor and here I will perform all the operations related mapped function and if you don't know about mapped function then uh, the pi you if you remember the map function in python the similarly it's work the same thing in uh, in odoo but the thing is you have to use only mapped instead of map again let me give over give you overview like the map function calls the specified function for each item of record set and return the result result means record set and one more thing is we are also using a lambda function using this map function and if you don't know about lambda's definition the lambda keyword is used to define an anonym function in python so same we are using this one there is no any change and we are usually use this function for a one time use so let's say i will add student profile self.env then after school dot student and student list I'm just using a search method first time because we need a, a record set okay stood okay spelling mistake yeah so now it's working so it's it will return uh, total 16 records and uh, for the double check we can see here using length function and going to here in student profile and you can see here total 16 record is found as an active student not the archived one so usually what we have to do here is uh, if you want to map with the particular fields then we can use this one something like this like stood underscore list you can see stood underscore list having a record set and the same one we have to use here and then after we have to use like dot then after mapped and here what we have to do is simply using lambda as an anonym function then after we have to use like lm then after dot now what what we have to do here is this lm lm means this record set it will iterate one by one like first it will comes to three four five then after sorry three four six seven eight nine ten and till 53 it will check what what we are performing the operation here it will return the it if the ma the condition is matched the mapping will match then it will return the record set let's say if school id is found then such records i have to i have to map with the school id then what we have to do is like school underscore id so you can see it will return the record set from this student profile then after like currency underscore id so you can see right now we use two currencies in different student profiles like 20 and 1 so something like this it will return the it will return that record set also the thing also you can see hobby and the school list we can also map hobby and the school list and here we are using only two hobbies from this record set so something like this you can use mapped function and yeah if you why if you don't use this map function then what you have to do here is you have to use lengthy code let's say let's say school underscore id is equal to something like this then after you are using like for loop stood list then after sorry stood dot school underscore id School underscore ids dot append mm -hmm. 
and here we are trying to print the list of school IDs but you can see here still like it's repeated right the school profile 16 is here and here so we are also performing one more one more time like using a sats and again we are using something like this right <laughs> now you can see it's a blank one then after 2 1 3 and 16 and here you can see we having the school profile something like this in record set but also one more one more operation you can also perform there is a many cases you can use like stood self dot env school dot profile and using like search method and this is a bad thing like you are using if you have a record set of the student profile and still you are finding only the school profiles which is belongs to a particular student like you are just hitting two SQL queries to the database for the for the school profile to getting the school profile right like id in and stud underscore list dot school underscore id dot ids sorry spelling mistake so right now you can see it will something like this right so instead of doing this one or doing this one this for loop just simply use the mapping if the map found then it will return the particular record set otherwise it will return the blank record set for the particular model so I hope you understood this mapped function and if you have any doubt please comment below and see you in next session